what is conflict-free technology? Well, right now it doesn't exist. Uh, and every product that we use, the cameras that we're using to film this, the smartphones that we use, the tablets that we use, the mobile, any mobile technology and laptops that we use, all contain minerals that come from areas in Eastern DRC, some of which tungsten, tin, tantalum, gold, all end up into our, in our electronic products. And this, this mass of resources in Eastern DRC has been creating this conflict for the last 15 years where over 5.5 million people have died. And child soldiers are being used constantly to mine and to guard these mines where these minerals come from so that we can use our smartphones and we can use our tablets and we can get the newest product on the market. And as a result, the manufacturers of these products have started slowly to try to change, but they're not moving quick enough. And only some of them are moving. There are Intel, Motorola, Philips have been very proactive in the way that they have engaged with changing to conflict-free mineral solutions. But there are others that aren't, and they're dragging their heels, and they need to change, and they need to change quickly because kids are dying in the Eastern DLC as a result of us wanting to have access to these natural resources. What can we do now to build a better future and make sure that there are fewer conflict-ridden materials? We can engage the manufacturers. We can tell the manufacturers, listen, we want to use your products, they're great. The manufacturers need to put pressure on the industry to make sure that there is a, a conflict mineral-free supply chain going from Congo to Asia where these products are manufactured and back again to us. And in order to do that, they have to invest. Philips is investing in a mine in Eastern DRC. There are small groups of uh, other electronics companies that are investing in mines in Eastern DRC to make them conflict-free. We need everybody to be doing it. So what's the best way for someone to let a company know? Write a letter or their petitions? Yeah, you can go onto uh, the website called Hope for Congo, Raise Hope for Congo, sorry, and, uh, and on there there is a section where the people can take action. On there you can go and research the people, the, the companies that you use, you can research which companies, smartphone you own or tablet you own, and you can go and find out how good they're behaving within this world. And if, they go, if they're behaving well, send them an encouraging email letter. It's already, it's already written for you. If they're down at the bottom there and they're flashing red and they're not doing so much, send them the email that's already written for you saying you're very disappointed in their progress and very disappointed in the action that they've taken and urge them to do more.